If you've recently bought a Sensi Wi-Fi programmable thermostat from Emerson, you're in luck. We're gonna walk you through the physical installation. So the first thing you definitely wanna do is turn off power to your thermostat. It may not reflect that in the display because like mine, it's battery powered, but definitely make sure that your heat and AC is shut off and powered down. So the first thing you wanna do is remove the face plate from your old thermostat. This is the old thermostat that came with my house. So I'm just gonna snap off the face plate. So that's done, just set that aside. The next thing you wanna do is to get a picture of the layout of, of your wiring. If for some reason it doesn't work out with your new thermostat compatibility and you wanna put the old one back on, it's really helpful as a handy guide just to make sure you can find your way back. So after you've done that, you'll wanna just unscrew and remove the existing wires. I already unscrewed them just for simplicity's sake, but just take a little, a little screwdriver if you loosen those, the wires will come right out. The next step is to just remove the base, the base plate here. So that's pretty straightforward. This, this one comes out really easily. And then we'll just unscrew this one. So something I sometimes recommend if you're worried about your wiring falling back into your wall, just wrap the wires around a pencil or something. Um, it's a good placeholder if you're trying to do something in, in between and need to take a break. So I'm gonna grab the base plate for my thermostat over here. All right, so the next step is to just feed the wires through the Sensi base plate, line it up with the holes. Conveniently, mine lines up perfectly so I don't need a power drill or anything. This is kind of ideal, really. And then just add in your screws here. So I'm gonna screw this in. And then it comes with a uh, level, which makes it really nice. Another thing you wanna think about is, you know, like mine here, you can see the original paint that was behind the old thermostat. So you might have to do some touching up along the way, but it's not too, not too bad. So the next step is to just attach, reattach the wires basically. This layout is a little different, but it's labeled. So you wanna put your RH in the RH port, screw that down, same with all the others. And you'll wanna screw those back in. Another thing, if I didn't mention it, you'll wanna to go to Sensi's website and just check compatibility. There's a chance that your original wiring isn't compatible with this one, but fortunately mine was, so that makes it really simple. Uh, the final step really is just to snap the faceplate back on. These usually just kinda of line them up the right way. They should pop on fairly easily. Fortunately, the, the face plate in this case is larger than the base plate, so it actually does cover up all that paint, so I don't really have to do anything, but that's it. That's your kind of step-by-step -step to installing the Emerson Sensi Wi-Fi programmable thermostat.